The Esculapian snake is a species of non-venomous snake native to Europe, a member of the Colubrini subfamily of the family Colubridae. Growing up to 2 meters in length, it is among the largest European snakes, similar in size to the four-line snake and the Montpellier snake. The Esculapian snake has been of cultural and historical significance for its role in ancient Greek, Roman, and Illyrian mythology and derived symbolism. The Esculapian snake prefers forested, warm but not hot, moderately humid but not wet, hilly or rocky habitats with proper insulation and varied, not sparse vegetation that provides sufficient variation in local microclimates, helping the reptile with thermoregulation. In most of their range they are typically found in relatively intact or fairly cultivated warmer temperate broadleaf forests including the more humid variety such as along river valleys and riverbeds, but not marshes, and forest steppes. Frequented locations include places such as forest clearings in succession, shrublands at the edges of forests and forest-slash-field ecotones, woods interspersed with meadows etc. However, they generally do not avoid human presence, being often found in places such as gardens and sheds, and even prefer habitats such as old walls and stone walls, derelict buildings and ruins that offer a variety of hiding and basking places. The synanthropic aspect appears to be more pronounced in northernmost parts of the range where they are dependent on human structures for food, warmth, and hatching grounds. They avoid open plains and agricultural deserts. In the south their range seems to coincide with the borderline between deciduous broadleaf forests and Mediterranean shrublands, with the latter presumably too dry for the species. In the north their line of presence appears temperature limited. The average home range for French populations has been calculated at 2.8 acres, however males will travel longer distances of up to 2 kilometers to find females during the mating season and females to find suitable hatching sites to lay eggs. The Esculapian snakes are deemed secretive and not always easy to find even in areas of positive presence, or found in surprising contexts. In contact with humans, they can be rather tame, possibly due to their cryptic coloration keeping them hidden within their natural environment. They usually disappear and hide, but if cornered they may sometimes stand their ground and try to intimidate their opponent, sometimes with a chewing-like movement of the mouth and occasionally biting. It has been speculated that the species may be actually more prevalent than thought due to spending a significant part of its time in tree canopy, however no reliable data exist as to what part that would be. In France it is said to be the only snake species that occurs inside dense, shadowy forests with minimum undergrowth, presumably because of using foliage for basking and foraging. In other parts of the range it has been reported to only use the canopy on a more substantial basis in largely uninhabited areas, such as the natural beech forests of the East Slovak and Ukrainian Carpathians, with similar characteristics. Their main food source are rodents up to the size of rats, a 130cm adult specimen has been reported to have overpowered a 200g rat, and other small mammals such as shrews and moles. They also eat birds as well as bird eggs and nestlings. They suffocate their prey by constriction, though harmless smaller mouthfuls may be eaten alive without constriction, or simply crushed on eating by jaws. Juveniles mainly eat lizards and arthropods, later small rodents. Other snakes and lizards are taken, but only found rarely in adult prey. Predators include badgers and other mustelids, foxes, wild boar, hedgehogs, and various birds of prey, though there are reports of adults successfully standing their ground against feathered attackers. Juveniles may be eaten by smooth snakes and other reptilivorous snakes. Also a threat mainly to juveniles and hatches are domestic animals such as cats, dogs, and chickens, and even rats may be dangerous to inactive adult specimens in hibernation. In areas of concurrent distribution, they are also preyed upon by introduced North American raccoons and East Asian raccoon dogs. That's it for now and thank you for watching. If you liked our video, please give a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos.